Hey there, welcome to Rose. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can create a personal finance tracker in Airtable using Rose. Let's dive right in. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and click on our data actions panel here, search for bank and import the transactions from your bank account. In case you're doing this for the first time, you'll be prompted to connect your bank account here. And if you've already connected your bank account, you'll be able to see all the different ones from this drop down here. In case you have multiple accounts in the same bank, you'll also be able to see those from the account drop down here. And you can also set a date range of your choice as well. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the last seven days. Once you're happy with this configuration, go ahead and click create data table, give it a couple seconds, and you should see a table being populated with all the data. Let's view this data in detail. I'm gonna go ahead and close this side panel here and also hide this sidebar. And there you go. You have a date column, amount, currency, description, a category, and so on. Let's go ahead and remove some of the columns which we may not need. Let's say we don't need the currency column. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. We also don't need the bank and the account column. So let's go ahead and remove that as well. The very next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is set up an automation so that I don't have to do this task again tomorrow. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the edit option here, select automation and toggle this button on. You can also specify the frequency of the refresh from this drop down here. But in this case, I'm gonna leave it to the default, which is every day at a specific time, like so. Please also make sure to select the right time zone at which you want the data to be refreshed. You'll notice that we're automatically logging the data as opposed to replacing newly refreshed data. And the way we log this is by looking at the date, amount, and description. However, you're free to reconfigure this based on your needs. Next, let's look at how we can push this data to Airtable. And for that, on my Airtable side, I've already created a base with these columns here, which is transaction, date, amount, and category. Now let's see how we can push this information from inside rows. For that, I'm gonna go ahead and click this plus icon here, select formula, type Airtable, you choose the add update record a table here. For the base ID, I'm gonna go ahead and get that from the URL of my air table setup here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this, copy, come back here in double quotes, hit paste. And then for table name, you can either choose the transactions, which is the name of this table, or continue using the ID from the URL. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and copy the ID, which is right here, come back to my rows, formula column here and paste that information. Next, we'll have to map each of these fields and values that we want to push inside Airtable. For that, I'm going to start by transaction, uh, I'm going to type that in, and the value for the transaction would be this information here sitting in C2. The next thing is the date, which is in A2. Next would be amount, which is sitting in cell B2. And finally, we have category, which is sitting in cell D2 here. Before applying this formula to the entire column, let's just try a preview in cell E2 here. There you go. You'll now be able to preview the first transaction record here. That's the date, the amount, and the category. You'll notice that the date is a little weird than what you'd expect it to be. And that's because this formula is considering the date value as a number as opposed to an actual date. To remedy that, we are going to wrap this A2 inside a two text function like so. Once we have this, we can then go ahead and apply this to the entire column. And you should see the data being reflected on your Airtable base as well. Give it a couple seconds and you should have the entire thing synced up. There you go. This is how you can create a finance tracker inside Airtable using Rose. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.